We are pushing in. We're underway, and I'm excited to get this going. The battle for Overlook is taking place. Yeah, so far, a fairly slow initial. These players in that underpass area, the first blood's going to come through, and it's going to be Shock taking out Icy to kick off map number two. Well, she's down low, and Zim just all he can do is just look on. The Solars maybe wants to make that push forward, but for the most part, we just have a standstill, right? Both teams thinking like, all right, hey, you make the first move so you can mess up. But if Enzim wins this fight up top, that's going to be huge. He does not, and this should open the door for the men on quarantine to push in onto Bravo. You notice Rise, they're going to go ahead and backtrack. They know the push for the overextension is going to be taking place. This is a great opportunity for quarantine to capitalize. Okay, so the two cap finally coming underway, so the neutral hill is going to go in favor of quarantine. A few different members of Rise Nation are sort of kind of pushed back towards their home now, making their way over towards the neutral hill as well. And when it comes to this first half, Taylor, we've kind of seen the progression of the map, right? A lot of times people continue to fight for that B hill over and over. Now a lot of times you're seeing the fights move out wide. You're seeing a lot of those OEs come under play. And right now, quarantine, they got the numbers. They're starting to move forward. We're on long spawn rounds, so currently sitting at a 5v3, and they're making their way closer and closer to that A hill. Ends up trying his best to get over there to help the fight, but he's getting drilled from the back. Icy's Lancer is causing so much havoc from afar. Looks like quarantine, at least for now, or she's not to push through just yet. They're going to instead kind of continue to get that team fire in on Shock. It's going to put Shock on his very last down. And quarantine is still just milking out this lead with this two cap. And that's the right call. I mean, Ryan, if you're in this situation, you've got a nice lead. Uh, you, you obviously are very much so in control of the map. Do you push forward? Do you just stay where you're at? Yeah, I mean, especially when you can control B this way, you kind of know where the push is going to come, right? They're kind of only instinct has to be to make that push over to see Rushy's nose that he's starting to run away himself. Him and Solar's just going to retreat back to their home. Solar's is going to go down. Rushy should be there for the revive. But they're going to both be taken out quickly. A good push coming through from Rise. It's going to force the members of Quarantine to now kind of turn their heads because now they're sitting at a 3v5 long spawns, right? So it's going to be a while before Rushy's and Solar's get back onto the map. Here, Quarantine, you have to hold down this B hill at all costs because Rise Nation are going to surely just start to swarm. It's going to be an important fight between Shock and Icy, and we'll see how that one ended up going. Detox now having a battle for Charlie. And if Detox wins this, which he doesn't, that would have been huge. And uh, with Bravo already being capitalized on, that would have been the round. But a well fought out fight. Still, the win condition. Actually, the win condition has moved over for Rise Nation. Now, Quarantine's got to get to work. They've got to commit their resources. Enzim pushes up, hits a nice shot onto Solar. That's a huge win. That opens the door to push in potentially onto Charlie. But you notice Quarantine was playing around with Bravo. Quarantine finally makes the break. And Franchise looked as if he wanted to beeline it over towards the home hill of Rise Nation. Currently, Quarantine is going to win. And Rise Nation knows this. They've got to push in. They've got to get this break. And I don't think they're going to be able to do it. The only man is going to be Detox. He doesn't even have enough time. He's also being pressured by Franchise, who silences him. A close round, 250 to 240, but Quarantine comes out ahead. Yeah, good first round. Three minutes and 30 seconds. These long spawn rounds, like I said, they can either drag quite some time or they yep. could be over in the blink of an eye. And Franchise leading the way for his squad. Eight eliminations to his name. Eight eliminations in and only one round. It's a good start for the IGL. Hey, you would think so. You think so? Still still gaming it up, still doing great work for this team, leading them to victory, and uh, this would be a great win, especially coming off the back of that roster change. And also winning in Pro League, this would be just the icing on top, if you will. The show quarantine is still on top and deserves to be on uh, one of the best orgs out there. But the breakout is going to go, and Overlook is once again going to be fought for. Enzim was usually the first one who gets up there. This time it's going to be Rushies. And on the other end, I do believe this should be Enzim up top. But it's going to be three strong for Rise. Quarantine not applying that much pressure as <laughs> Icy just gets absolutely pelted. Or Enzim, rather, from a distance. He's got to be careful. He goes on his second down. He's going to be on his last. <laughs> there it is. He's on his last down already as the flank does happen from uh, Quarantine. Can you hear the number down below? Rise Nation is there for the revive, so the break's going to start to come through on the neutral hill. Franchise and Quarantine try their best to just get any downs they can. That's going to be one on two of Xyz. The push is underway. Shock's going to finally be dropped at the hands of Mortifies, but somehow Taylor, Quarantine's home hill is being hit. Detox, he's on the A hill. Three members of Rise Nation are there. Icy needs to get a touch. Morty, he does get the touch, but ends up going down. Let's see what this Quarantine team can do. At the very least, someone has it the touch on B. It's just been Hill after hill after hill for both these squads. And a uh, franchise in a vex. He's now in that 1v1 for Bravo. 
It is, in fact, going to be Franchise who is going to get Silence. Now it's up to IC and Rushies to get this break. Rushies does manage to break through Enzim. Silences him, though. Rise Nation still playing around with this trip cap. Enzim continues to slay out. Mortify now will be pushing in. This would be a big kill if Enzim is able to solidify this. That is for sure going to be the domination. Mortify goes down. Franchise now trying to get a touch. Meat Shield's going to be there. All in the meantime, Rise Nation continues to develop a lead, and that's it. Quarantine is not going to commit any more lives to that fight. Rise Nation, a phenomenal round in just a minute and 42 seconds. Yeah, so much pressure being applied, kind of the entirety of that round from Rise Nation. They kept hitting that home hill over and over and over, and eventually they did get the fight win. Now we get to see kind of where the placements come underway. you got to imagine... That drop shot goes wide. Rise Nation very okay with that. They had a phenomenal showing in our semifinals on that very fight. Oh, potentially. Maybe a little bull talk action in the back end. No, they're going to instead choose some mirror of the utility. Okay. Makes sense. I, I was thinking, we're playing around with Overlook position. Maybe, all right, cool. We're going to... Because, uh, you know, down in the hole, just below Overlook, it's it's been quite popular to put a drop shot or a boom down there as the meta's kind of developed. But no, I, I saw that a lot on uh, over in Mexico. Yeah, it makes the fight very kind of awkward almost, right? It, it because really a lot does, of times yeah. you focus on the B hill, you focus on out wide, whatever half it is, right? And the next thing you know, you have to go into this little pocket for this power weapon. It's not really a traditional fight, not a lot of covers to work with. I know, I, I think I saw it specifically in a lot of uh, PK matches, Pittsburgh night matches, where it's being placed. But it allowed for a lot of good moments too, especially with that close quarter fight, but you're right, it is awkward. But I, I like the creativity to kind of throw the teams off, throwing a Hail Mary at... Uh, at least at a land, right? That's the best play to do it, throw your teams off, but... Quarantine currently in control of Bravo and Charlie. A bit spread apart, though. You notice Rise Nation is kind of wolfpacking together three strong, and they're all going to collapse down onto Icy, who's kind of by himself. But luckily, you do have a lot of uh, backup from Franchise, as well as Mortify in the back with the Lancer Fire. It's going to make a Vexy's push a little bit awkward, but hey, he handles it like a champ, gets the chunk, takes him out. Yeah, now forces Mortify to kind of push back. But Quarantine Taylor, they find themselves on all three hills. Can anyone get to any of the hills in time? Rushy gets the full cap onto A. Someone does, though, get the last second touch. Almost a bit of a Mr. Krabs right there coming through from Quarantine. I don't think that Rise Nation expect that, especially after getting a few of those kills together. Rant's going to get aggressive. Shock and Drix are there. Remember the Quarantine are going to be forced back. At the very least, they have built a pretty good size lead. Now Mortifies finds himself on the flank. Gets one. Nice. Franchise is there for the second. The Trip Cap once again underway. Question becomes, can Avexi's Detox and Enzem defend their hill? So far they are, but Quarantine just continues to build a lead. Quarantine worked that so well. Obviously a lot of pressure being applied to Franchise. That opened up the door for those two players to go through mid. That was Mortify as well as another to really take Rise Nation off guard, come in, get the kills, and go back to square one with Bravo and Charlie in their hands. They have over a 100 point lead, they're about the apex of 200 mark, and Rise Nation at this point is running out of options uh, with Enzim and Drix being dropped. If they get fully finished, this is surely gonna be it. You just, there's no reason to respawn, you don't have enough time. Quarantine played this round really, really well, objectively, and they got the kills where they battered. As they cross the 230 mark, they have both hills, not a ton Rise Nation can do right now. You're gonna see Drix not spawning back in, rightfully so. And Quarantine, they strike back. Back and forth we go, their second lead, and nice little chainsaw there to get a little cherry on top. I know it's not that impressive, but it's always great to see that because it's such a, a rarity, if you will, especially at the top level of gameplay. It was all for fun. It didn't make an impact, but I love seeing uh, whether it's Cog or Swarm just absolutely get chainsawed in half. Man. It's the most unique feature to, to any game out there, uh, any shooter, really. really. A ton of fun to watch. Now we get to see... It's going to be placed down probably some more utility. A little smokes. And, all right. I like it. I like it. Drop shot there getting placed down. And uh, let's go back to when the drop shot was placed on District. That benefited Rise quite a bit. Maybe it could have the same effect here on training grounds. Yeah, fight that they're very comfortable with, of course. They absolutely came alive in the second half when they faced off against UIU. See if they can do a little bit of the same against Quarantine on the other side. You see players like Rush. He's always very good in these sort of fights. Franchise is going to... Throw a few knives out there. The early utility comes through on both ends. Yeah, I'm fine. No one struck just yet. Not a single kill on the board. Mortifies is going to drop one. Make that a second. The teamwork comes through. Good job by Quarantine now. That's two members down for Rise Nation. Enzyme stuck in a very tough spot. So they do win the initial over wide. It's going to net them 
That nice shiny drop shot in the hands of none other than Rushies. And, uh, and a beautiful win. Drix and Detox would last alive. Vexy Shock will be joining them shortly by Enzim. Quarantine will work their way over towards Bravo. If that was the first round of the second half, that would have been a hugely beneficial push and initial for the team of Quarantine. Not only would they have the drop shot, the man advantage, they also would have been in control of the neutral hill and their home hill. As uh, we're really trying to thread the needle here for Rushies. He does manage to get a little hit marker, but I think that could have been used uh, a lot better, more effectively. Killfeed lighting up red. Quarantine continues to slay out. You notice the majority of them sitting at four, four out of four, three out of four lives. A couple on rise are going to be struggling. If Exy's off this respawn, he's going to be at one of four. And that drop shot's going to be very nicely placed right at the feet of Drix. Killfeed continuing to light up red of Exy's detox. Trying their best to make an impact over at C. The team fire is coming through from quarantine. Franchise is going to get the finish onto Avexis. With Detox hitting over at A, it's going to at least keep his team alive. Of course, if you're Rise Nation, you want to end this half at a 2 2. We know how good Rise Nation can be at the second half of this map. Oh, yeah. Especially for that neutral hill fight for drop. Detox, not a lot he could do. Tries to apply the pressure. He gets taken out. Avexis now spawning up on his last life. And now you have quarantine still very much so in control. With A and B, you can only imagine they're going to continue applying that pressure onto Charlie. That's a nice win down low for Rushies onto Drix, who was trying to sneak over to Bravo. One more player to get through onto the Rise Nation side. It's going to be Detox. And if Rushies wins that, which he doesn't, that would have opened up the door to collapse down with his team from Overlook onto Charlie. Doesn't happen, and it's going to be a good retake for Rise. The second battle for drop is taking place. Yeah, these are quick spawns, but Courtney still has to be careful. Right? They can't let Rise Nation kind of slay out and then take advantage of their home hill. Drix is already hopping on. It's going to be a good break. At least gives Rise Nation an opportunity to get back in the time. Like you mentioned, the Vexi still sits on zero. That's, I think, Quarantine's best bet right now is Quarantine's entire respawn economy looks pretty healthy. Keep they, spamming them out. Yeah, they got back on the B. They have their A hill back, so they're back sort of in control here. And I think for Rise Nation, you need to get one more really, really good definitive push, or at the very least, you need to make sure you keep Avexis alive at all cost. It's a good drop shot from Detox. That's going to neutralize Solars, but look at Taylor. Someone has managed to find their way to see Rushies. I mean, that annoying player at the very least is going to move a few resources from Rise. And, and that's the most important uh, part, right? Just allocating those resources from Rise, keeping them on their feet, on their toes, and constantly rotating through. It is encouraging to see for Rice fans that uh, Bravo and Charlie is going to be locked in, but uh, Quarantine still has that win condition, and rightly so, now at 215 to 170. Rise, like you alluded to earlier, Ryan, needs one more decent push. If they can get that, they can secure this win in the last couple of seconds and pull off, if you will, quote unquote, the optic special. But they've got to do it, they've got to do it quickly. Still one bullet remains, or one rocket remains in that drop shot. And Detox going to be collapsing down. A well-placed drop actually could be what they needed, the main catalyst for the break, and that's going to be placed. It's going to be a hit marker. It's not going to be a full kill, but here comes Rise. They're going to be pushing in. Detox runs through one. Don't tell me this is going to happen. Nobody's able to sneak through. Rise Nation is winning their fights, but we do see a couple of great players from Quarantine, but that's it's it. not going to happen, and Rise Nation will take it. 250 to 248. Oh, and those ones hurt, too. They had every position. All they had to do was hold down that hill for a few more seconds. Detox made a great use of that drop shot, getting those kills, running right over to the hills and finishing them off. Rise Nation, they avoid the 3-1 first half. Now sitting at 2-2. Great plays coming through from them late. And not to mention, Avexis was on 0 out of 4 for and they kept the them alive. majority yes. of that round. Very heads up play by him, making sure he valued his life, let his teammates get on the front line, and they won a round because of it. Insanity, 2 Two all tied up. Rise Nation very comfortable where they're at. Quarantine was in control for so. I mean, they were at 249 before Rise Nation slipped through and won. This initial last time went very well for Quarantine, but now with that neutral hill, it's going to change up things just a little bit, change up the play style. We'll have to see how these couple of series of kills do go in. It's going to be a couple of trades on both sides. The one two punch comes in, but Detox absolutely turns on franchise. Four go down for Quarantine. Mortify on the back pedal. No, nowhere he can really go. He's going to get taken out. And Detox now playing around with that drop shot in a crucial 1v1. And despite all of that, Rise Nation doesn't capitalize as much as they wanted to. They may win that drop shot. But regardless, they haven't gained a single point from this. And that second fight kind of comes underway. 
Members of Quarantine have arrived. The counter flash has come through. Detox gets one. Detox gets two. Do I hear a third? A full spread, but unfortunately the player does not fall. Both teams getting slayed out left and right. That's going to be a full five down for Quarantine. These are long spawns, Taylor. No one's going to be able to get back on the map in time. Rise Nation, once again, we know they're a second half team when it comes to training grounds, at least today. Got the full Elim. A minute and eight seconds later, they take their first lead now of training grounds. First lead and a big one to be up 3-2. Anytime you take that lead, especially when you get close to that five mark, always makes a huge impact. And I want to point out, by the way, Ryan, Rise Nation basically got the first wipe that they did. They, they ended up getting four down. Mortifies was the only one who stayed alive, uh, just narrowly, by the way. And then Rise Nation comes back and does it a second time, despite not capping any of the hills and having any points. That just shows the overall slaying capacity, slaying abilities Rise Nation has. Quarantine, though, right up there. We've seen them slay out, and they're very much so still in this. But they've got to win these initials. They're so incredibly critical. And the breakout's going to happen. Let's see if they can lock it in. Silverlook position, so incredibly powerful. Franchise was the one who led, led earlier. Rush is on the end. Look at Intip, though. Head full of steam. Straight forward gets one. Hits a brick on a second, but not able to solidify it. Shock, though, is going to answer right back up. Three go down. Solar's to Mortify. Last up. Shock is going to at least stop Avexis from pushing forward. But hits some nice shot on the Solar's with the Botox. Can he connect at least one more headshot? Well, he's not going to need to as Shock pushes up. Now Detox will take a spot. But another great initial from Rise. But regardless, though, Solar is still holding his own. Managed to at least get two. Oh, and Avex, he's waited for the revive to come through. Put great use of that drop shot. Solar's, like you mentioned, made a good play to get a couple of those kills. No more bullets! And now Avex, you hear his character say, no more bullets in that bull talk. He instead switch right over to the drop shot. A lot of powerful weapons in his arsenal right now. One man tank, one man army. Vexy's up top, just all he can do is just look as competitors go down low. 1v1 between Insum and Solars. Insum wins it. Great movements. He'll get finished off, but anytime you're getting a trade, you're still doing it right. And Rise Nation has a decent lead. As you know, Quarantine is going to be pushing up. It's a beautiful drop shot. That's going to connect at least on one. Shock will finish. Mortify, who is, uh, has some at least chip damage from the drop. I see down low in a 1v2. Managed to get away for the time being, but will get dropped to all fours. Now the Lancer Fire is going to be coming through. Ryan, Rise Nation is doing such a great job with this team fire. Yeah, there's a big swing round too, right? There's a difference between Rise Nation pushing out to map point, match point, tournament point, or if you're quarantined, you got to keep this close. you got to keep to a 3-3. You need to desperately get to that bunker tiebreaker. And Rise Nation continues to apply pressure. Now Vexy is going to even make his way over towards the quarantine home hill. And it looks like quarantine is going to choose not to use their resources as Rise Nation find themselves one round away from winning yet another Emergence Days. Quarantine's got their work cut out for them. They're going to have to chain together three in a row if they want to stay alive in this tournament. Pretty risky move, allowing the not to spawn back in, giving that round, conceding it to Rise Nation to bring them up 4-2, but maybe it is the best move that Quarantine had. And the battle continues to ensue. Rise Nation, if they beat Quarantine 2-0, the entire night uh, they would have at least... 2 0 all the teams that they played, which would have been pretty special. Like a flawless tournament, right? Hey, listen, uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Not only would a flawless tournament be impressive, look at some of the wins they had along the UIU, way. UIU, that, that, that could arguably be sure. potentially the hardest road that, that I would put out on paper right now. Pittsburgh, 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 Knights, Pittsburgh Knights first round, UIU second round, quarantine third round. You, you literally would beat all three. Of the, or at least, uh, yeah, three For, of the First teams. place in Mexico, second place in Mexico, and then, of course, UIU took two of the champions. But, so, but uh, you three know, of the most monumental much roster changes that have right. happened in years, years five, at least as of right now. Yeah, so, I mean, three of the strongest teams, like I said, out there. Definitely would be making Rise feel pretty good. Rise Nation fans would obviously be very happy if that was the case, but still, they need to win to have one more round and we see major comebacks happen. But off to a good start. Icy Solars will get taken out. Franchise will drop. Tricks, though, and Ensign will follow suit. Rushies, do everything he can to stay alive. He's currently going to be in a 1v2. Three players down on quarantine. All players are going to be spawning back up. Battle continues to take place. Good spacing. Rushies will take out Avexis. Shock will drop. That's a good win. The first win for quarantine on that drop. And they find themselves now with the power up and the two cap. Like I said, their work's cut out for him right now. 
Any mistake, any round cannot slip away at this point. I'm gonna give Rush once again the drop shot. He's made a bunch of incredible plays with drop throughout the entirety of this tournament. Nothing new when it comes to the Rush man, of course. He's gonna have to obviously step his game up even more. Of course, him and Powers were kind of the best slaying duo in my eyes on the reciprocity team. Now that Powers is no longer there, Rush he's, he's gonna have to do even that much more, which is kind of crazy to say because he already does so much on the map. He does a ton. But everyone kind of has to, when you lose a player like Powers, everyone has to step their game up. Everyone has to be getting more kills in the feed. Ooh. Oh, that's a good start with a double. That connects. That's gonna be a little bit too far to the left. Quarantine, very much so in control of this round. You notice Rise Nation trying to throw a, a wrench into the strategy of Quarantine. They push down low trying to capitalize on F. And it's gonna be shock as the trade between Enzim and Franchise took place. And shock has to make, make a decision if he kind of wants to hold off. Well, with another player joining him, he's gonna be in a 2v1, but only for a short period of time as Franchise coming up a spot is now going to be going for the assistance of Icy. Another drop shot moves in. It's going to connect on a detox. A good win, specifically given the fact it's been a while, and we're most likely going to be moving into the fresh drop shot that's going to be uh, eligible to pick up. Ends up trying to do everything he can to weave around these covers. The Russian Mortifies are going to be there to have something to say about it. Now Rise Nation find themselves once again hitting those two home hills, right? They kind of conceded that E hill. And instead push over to DNF. No hill over there, of course, no power weapon over there on this side of the map. If they can hold this two cap, it's going to be at least a good start. You see the wind condition still favors quarantine. If they hold that one hill for 60 more seconds, that will be the round. Horizon still has plenty of time to make their push. And again, one round away from winning this tournament. And I know it's getting into late game, but Rise Nation has been great off the initials. Technically, this fight for E could replicate that of an initial fight. Drop shot's there, Rushies knows this. He goes up for the pick, Shrikso walks up, and he's gonna be silenced by Rushies, forced to back off. Solar's now being pressured by Avexis. Drop shot will tag up Avexis. He capitalizes, though, will drop Solar's. He can't get the finish, he knows that, because Rushies gonna be applying that pressure. Another drop shot opportunity, it's gonna be missed. And he'll back up, but I do believe Quarantine still, though, should be able to hold on to this, but you notice a couple breaks are gonna be taking place. Player number eight, Mortify is going to be on the opposite hill, and that should be able to solidify it regardless of whatever takes place. A good win for Quarantine to bring it 4-3. Two more rounds if Quarantine wants to head to Bunker. Three minutes and 30 seconds, man. Such a long, drawn-out round. A lot of the same looks like it still applies when it comes to this Quarantine team, right? They kind of thrive in those long-winded rounds. They kind of thrive in the situations where they can use their teamwork. Again, it's a brand-new team, so a lot more teamwork still needs to be developed as they bring on both Solars and Mortifies. This is a good start. Not a bad start at all. I mean, you're still putting Rise at uh, pretty much the edge whenever it comes to training grounds. And, you know, as I said at the beginning of this tournament, a lot of these teams, these team changes, the chemistry hasn't been able to develop as, as much as they had, especially before these roster changes. So as the weeks do develop, I expect quarantine, UIU, Pittsburgh Knights to get stronger and stronger and stronger up to the point where they used to be. But this first week is a great catalyst, you know, to kind of see how these teams are kind of falling into place. And not to mention, too, we're coming off of Mexico. A lot of players are now coming off of break. Pro League just started back up, so they're just now starting to get back into the swing of things. But as the weeks develop, we're going to start seeing more and more competitive matches. But, I mean, tonight's already been crazy as is, so that makes me even more excited as the future is still to come. But off the rip, quarantine now. Doing a great job. Another fantastic initial. Three go down. Drop shot secured. As well as that neutral hill. Quarantine keep this up. We're for sure going to be seeing a bunker match. Yeah, it's a good start once again. Looking to push us to a yet another round number nine. We've had so many round nines throughout the course of this tournament. It's been incredible to watch. What a way to bring back emergence days with a bang. And Shock's trying to make his way over towards a couple members of quarantine. are just kind of sitting there waiting for him. Icy ends the madness. Rise Nation chooses not to spawn back in, Taylor. <laughs> Yet another round number nine. If you're Rise Nation, you're looking to finish this off in a 2-0. If you're quarantine, you are looking to send this to a third and final map. It's the fifth round nine we've had tonight. We're going that, back. That, that's just on broadcast, too. That's just on broadcast. We're going back to the to the Reflections Ryan special where we always East went round into 13s. round 13. Now we're going into round nines, and that's going to be pretty exhausting of the fact we're the only ones calling the action. 
I don't know how many more round nines I can take, Ryan. Let's say it's uh, it's been a long, long night, that's for sure. But you know what? It's been a ton of great action. So wouldn't want to be anywhere else but sitting there covering all these brand new teams. So many storylines to come to life. And right now, one of these storylines is either going to open up or close up with this ninth and final round here on Training Grounds. Rise Nation, the last time they faced a 4-4 on this map, they came out on top. Quarantine, you know they don't want to let that happen. 100%. Big moment, Rise Nation to keep their streak going in Grand Finals, appearances and wins. Oh, and a great break, three go down, drop shot solidified, franchise running away, quarantine at risk, at least off the start. One's gonna be on that overlook position, it's gonna be Solars. Luckily though, this is the last round, which means the shortest respawn. So the teams are gonna be coming, or at least the team members from quarantine will be respawning back in, but Rise Nation, without a doubt, is off to a great start. Yeah, both teams still have pretty healthy respawn economies. A good start for Rise Nation, a very, very definitive initial. You saw Rushes get aggressive early, right? Tried to get that early shot on Detox, almost made the second, but Detox made him pay and then followed it up with a second. And Rise Nation continues now to move forward. The kill feeds starting to light up more blue and more blue, but here comes the pinch. Franchise makes a nice flank onto a Vexies. And Quarantine's going to once again secure the D-Hill. Of course, we are on quick spawns. The Taylor players will be off spawn very, very shortly. So there's a lot of defense that Quarantine still needs to hold. And I was looking at Shock, who's incredibly pushed up. We have this 2v2 happening onto D. We have a big... Oh! As a big drop comes through, we'll connect on Ensign, but Mortify Solar Franchise drops down. You've got Rush. He's doing everything he can to try and stay alive. Getting softened up from the Lancer fire down low from Drix. Quarantine off the respawn now. All they could do is just look at F. Rise Nation still in control. They've got a nice lead. And Quarantine, they've got to be thinking that new drop shot, it's going to be coming back up. We've got to make our way up top. We've got to win this fight. And uh, that's going to be a good start with Solars onto Drix. Utility being thrown. Detox now on the back pedal. Rise needs to make a hold here. If Quarantine breaks this, this could be the fresh start they needed in order to turn this round in their favor. Yeah, Rise done a good job building this lead. But Taylor, look at the kill feed right now. Three go down. Drix and Inz and the last remaining members. There's still plenty of time for the Swarm team to hold this with just two hills. New drop shot should be coming up, like you said, very, very quickly. Rise Nation, they start to answer back. Quarantine hits all three hills, but very quickly they do get shut down at the very least. So holding this two cap should give them some opportunity to close that time gap even sooner. The drop shot is in the hands of Icy. Quarantine looking to take back control of this round. Detox has something to say about it, takes out Rush. On the other end, kills being traded left and right. It's gonna all come down to these final fights. Quarantine, they have now control of that, but Rise Nation, they're taking control of the neutral. The question is, where's the drop? Can the drop come through? No, one goes short. And then Icy needs to make a play. He ends up actually going down. That drop shot could have been the key, Taylor. If that drop shot falls into that pocket, this round goes potentially oh. so much different. And after this, I don't think they can do it, Taylor. Right now, we're sitting at, what, a four versus Detox, three. That's Detox two. is going absolutely insane over towards the neutral hill. Icy stuck between now a rock and a hard place. Nothing the members of Quarantine can do. Morty taken permanently off the map, and Rise Nation keep the streak alive. They still have never lost a grand finals in emergence days that they've been a part of. Taking map number two, five to four. Huge congratulations to them. Major congratulations. Like you said, every time Rise has been in the grand finals, they have won, and they did that just again as, man, 5-4, not a bad win, but you know what? Literally both training grounds, whether it's versus UIU or it was going against uh, the powerhouse team such as Quarantine, it came down to round nines. They like to make it interesting, apparently, right? Both times training grounds, like you said, go down to the wire, and man, do they clutch up something fierce. And